So we have these sentences. Each one of you is going to tell me, you will have only one chance to tell me which one it is, but you need to explain why. So you're gonna select one of these options. Uh, the options are in bold. And right when you tell me the answer, tell me why. If you are correct, you are going to hear this. If you're wrong, you are going to use here this. Let's start with number one. Alex, tell me what is the answer. Read the complete sentence, of course, and explain why. He did his master's degree at the LM, LMU. LMU? Mm -hmm. mm, so, you, so you said the correct. LMU? Sorry? Did you say the LMU? The LMU is... It's correct. Why? First, tell me why. Because it's a particular name, no? Because it's, it's a particular it's name. Just uh, exists one LMU. Close. So you are correct in the answer, but you are not correct in the explanation. The LMU is a university. Mm -hmm. According to rule number six. According to rule number six, exception, sorry, that is not used before a university acronym. It's not used why? Wait, 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 wait. That is not used. That's negative. I was incorrect. <laughs> 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 that's the opposite two, two negatives uh, two negatives exactly because well, that, that's exactly the point you need to remove the okay so technically it's because it's an an university <laughs> a university acronym okay. so we need to remove that okay sure. idea? um katie master's degree at LMU, LMU, it's... Why did you repeat LMU? Mm, because it's a, I don't know, ah, no, sorry, no, no, no. I read, one option? Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, right. I read uh, this. Okay. Okay, it's LMG just. Sorry. Complete idea, complete idea. He did his master's degree at LMG. That is the one. Much better. LMG. Okay. So the rule says that because it's a university acronym, we need to avoid the. The reason of being a particular or being a specific thing is only applying to nouns, not to names. Okay. The rule that you are using doesn't apply to neither names, locations, and other things. Remember that the rules that we saw yesterday were very specific, very, very specific, apart from nouns. Okay. Okay? Okay. So now let's go to number two, Isaac. Get closer to your mic because I cannot hear you. Oh, yes, sorry. Um, I think that it's uh, um, the can uh, next week we are flying to the Canary Canary Island. Okay. I think that um, I, well, I'm not sure. I think that it could be like without because we are talking about that. Uh, uh, place, but I think that it, since it is plural, it's islands. We use to, we need to use the the. How do you say? How is it called? The the article. The article. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to. Say, so you say that you need to say the article because it's a plural place. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Totally correct. That's rule number. Three, I think. No, number two. Articles are not used before country, countries, single lakes, single yes. states, etc. Islands is not single. Therefore, 
we need to use that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like the Alps mountain range and the Great Lakes, etc. Good job. Very nice. Silvana, number three. Get closer to your mic, because I cannot hear you. Um, have you read the book Murder on Orient or Orient? How do you say Orient? Okay, pronunciation. Let's go Orient? to the dictionary. What? Yes. Orient. That's it. Okay. Uh, have you read the book Murder on the Orient Express? Okay. Before we go to the answer, how do you pronounce this word? Read. So why do you say read? <laughs> no, you hear. Yes. <laughs> so probably it's my my chia water yes. yeah yes, 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 uh, yes. no it's red because the expression is in past that's right it's a complete idea uh, have you read the book murder on the or orient express excellent that is correct and why because we are talking about an specific thing, uh, like uh, an specific book. <laughs> exactly, which is technically the rule that Alex was mentioning. In this case, we are talking about an specific express. No? Yes. Good job. Good, good, good. Perfect. Number four, Alex. Bob from the US. Bro from the buffs from the US. Why do you say the US? Because I see in the in the in the sheet that you mentioned in the in the example of Isaac. Mm -hmm. But I I I don't see the the last class. I, I don't so no I don't see the last class uh, don't, yet. You don't see every day. I uh, I I have not seen. <laughs> okay, have, that can be. I have not seen that. That opens the possibility that you will. But how do you speak in past? I. Didn't see the That's correct. Okay. Exactly. Anyway, the US. Yeah, we talked about this just last class. Well, you are correct. The reason have you heard this expression when you watch movies? The USA. Yes. But it's not A. No. No, no. I, I remember the USA. But it, in this case, it's just U.S. Well, the most common is U.S., not USA. Okay. For some reason, we we always say the U.S.A. as a second language. But even in Spanish, we don't say United States of America. You know, this last part, the America section, is not commonly used. The the song born in the it's us only no it's born in the usa the song which one mm, let me 
let me search that song. So okay. Give me a, a minute. I I show. Well, before before you say, search it and everything, the probably you are gonna hear it in songs, but that is not the most common way to call the country. Okay. So people say I am from the US. US. Okay. Mm -mm, not US. The US. Okay. The US. Okay. Uh -huh. And the reason you need the article, that's uh, the point of the class, that states is plural. Okay. So it's similar to number two Canary Islands. Mm -hmm. You see? This. Therefore, because it's plural, you need to use the article. Okay. Okay, take a note on that. Right. Yes. That's rule number rule number two. Okay. Did you take note? Second, please. Ready. Good job. Good, good job. So let's go to number five. Isaac. Yes. Uh, number five, my sister moved to France last year. That is totally correct. Why France and not the France? Because uh, when we are talking about uh, countries, we don't use to, to add the article. Exactly. We don't need it. Names of countries when it's, yeah, the name of a country, we never, never use it. Yes, and I think that there are some exceptions, like the, the US. Exactly. Yeah. That's correct. Well, the exception, the US was not an exception because the rule says that plural places need an article. So there was yeah. another exception with... Uh, let me check. No, I don't remember what are the... <laughs> <laughs> There was an instant response. The, the, previous, um, the previous name of Russia. Aha, uh -huh. correct. Yes, I, I don't remember. remember Russia. Oh, oh, here it's the, USS, the USSR. Correct. The USSR is an exception because it's the Union, which is only one. And Czech Republic is also only one. These are the, the only two exceptions. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the one. Good job. Very good. Number seven. No, number six. Sylvie. Uh, I couldn't hear you, your microphone again. Okay. Um, she is learning to play piano. She's learning to play piano. I don't remember this one. Don't hesitate She's because learning... it's correct. Piano yes. is not a specific, well, it's not a specific piano. I, uh, yes, but I'm hesitating because there is a rule for musical instruments. He's learning Did to you play teach piano. us that rule? <laughs> no. Okay, so it's <laughs> technically it's my your answer. Fault. <laughs> yeah. Technically, it's your fault. <laughs> yes. This rule always, uh, let me check. I, every time I teach, this lesson okay forget, if yeah. i made a mistake you have to give me one extra point <laughs> and a 50 percent discount no? For, so yeah with <laughs> articles before musical instruments who uses being i do as a grammar rule, when you prefer to play a musical instrument, you usually use the uh, definite article. Uh -huh. It's necessary to say the piano. So you are going to give me an extra point. Mm. But, uh, so the discount, sorry, the discount. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be my my fault. Jesus Christ, difficult so, to accept, but. <laughs> is it the piano? Totally, it's the piano. Even I, I, you know, in my the reason I hesitate so much is because if I speak Spanish, like you don't it's... use an article. You don't really. Like, mi hermana toca piano? Sounds weird, no? doesn't it? Because so, some people say, toca guitarra. No, my father toca guitarra, no, sounds super weird. <laughs> so, uh, no, the reason, the reason I, I, I remember I, no. the information where I, where I found this, all these things, um, brought or had the, the musical instruments, but then I thought, well, it's very obvious because in Spanish we need the article. So if I speak English, then it will be like a this direct transfer. When I was thinking in my answer, uh -huh. I was to I was going to choose the piano because uh -huh. it sounds right for me. Mm -hmm. But following the rules, if you are not talking about any specific thing, I thought the correct answer was piano. Exactly. Because it's contradictory to rule number one, no? Yeah. Let's... That's why you have to give me. No point. <laughs> <laughs> and for that reason. <laughs> and I think that the, uh, it's also related to the... Uh -huh. to, to, to what? Yeah, I can, for example, we are the, uh -huh. your microphone. I'm lo I'm losing you. Oh, sorry. Uh, and when you, we are talking this, with to a to an specific person with uh, the profession, we need, we don't need to use the the article, no? Ah, but in Spanish, exactly. we usually use it. <laughs> Totally right, totally right. Yes, because teacher, I am. You are teaching me that I should remove the article, so I will think by semantics that you, I need to remove the article in this case too. No. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. I think that it's something good to add um, to the to the slides. I definitely will. Yeah. I definitely will. Mm -hmm. No, but yes, and it's, it was something good. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Look at this. I'm gonna close, write up an exception here that says. The, the music instruments. Uh -huh. Always use the article when mentioning the mentioning the them when mentioning um musical instrument. For example, I want to learn. To play the guitar. This one is correct. Instead of I want to learn to play guitar. Which is incorrect. Do you agree? Yes, teacher. I definitely, definitely like it. Okay. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Go, Alex, number seven. My favorite basketball team is from Ohio State. From Ohio State, you are totally correct. I want to know if you know the reason uh because it's uh, uh it's not the name of from no i i i don't know it's the name of a university uh when you mention but, but a university in this case 
the team is from not not mm -hmm. refers to the to the name of the team it's referring to the to the state of ohio no? but we are not talking about the name of the team we're talking about the university where the where the team is from okay the reason here is the connector from not necessarily talks about states okay if you say i am from mexico city or no that's a bad example because you have the word name city but let's say Querétaro. I am from Querétaro. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. never, never, never say I am from Querétaro State. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Okay, yes. In the United States, it's the same. I am from Washington. No, that's a bad example because Washington State exists. <laughs> I am from California. Mm -hmm. You're right? You never say I am from California State. Okay. But if you say, so in this case, if you're talking about the city, you say, my favorite basketball player team is from Ohio. Okay. Period. Now you're talking about geography. Okay. You see, my mistake can be that I have it in, in, um, in low <laughs> captions, low caps. This should be capital letters. Okay. That definitely is the detail, which is also a very important thing to do. If you see the capital letter, pay attention because you're probably not talking about geography. Okay. 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 That one is very, very tricky. The one of the university is very, very tricky. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Isaac. Yes. Um, uh, number eight, right? Mm. Uh, how close have you been to the Ecuador? Ecuador? How do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce that? Excellent yeah. question. Is, is it the, the line that divides the, the earth into points? Very in good. Very, very good. Equator? 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 Exactly. Equator, right. Equator. Equator. The okay. country is Ecuador. Yes. <laughs> and the line that divides the geography of the planet is the equator. Okay, okay. Which is, that was exactly similar to the previous one. And you also gave us the... the that's right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you're doing the dictionary. <laughs> so bad. Yes. yes. The equation. Uh -huh. Exactly. It's the, the problem is that you are very observative. You know, some <laughs> some you, people. Uh, and please yeah. skip the next the next one because it's also a music instrument and Silvana already know the answer. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, Silvana is like, ah, the next is easy. Okay, what happens if I do this? Bye. <laughs> Number nine, Silvana. <laughs> um. She's exploring the West Coast as we speak. She's exploring the West Coast as we speak. Why? Because it is a specific place. You are totally correct. And coast is singular. Yeah. <laughs> Which you didn't consider, but that's that's the reason. It's not because it's a specific place. Or, well, a specific coast, not place. You know what I mean? Yes. What would be the opposite of the West Coast? A West Coast. Oh, East. No? East. East. <laughs> the East Coast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, the West End. 
<laughs> That's the one. Uh -huh. She's exploring the West Coast. And the West Coast is like from New York to Florida. And the East Coast is from California to Tijuana. You see all the East. That's the two difference. So number 10. Alex. Okay. He used to play the guitar. <laughs> you have the answer. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was too easy. That was too easy. Well, that's good. We have we have this lesson again, no? Yes. That was it. Very, very good. The guitar, because it's the exception to rule number one. Good. If, if you want, I try with the next. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Go with 11. Because the, the last was a, a bonus, no? Yeah, it was a bonus point, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> if, okay. if you were paying attention, no? Fortunately, yeah, you were paying yeah. attention. Okay. <laughs> um, apples are good for you. Apples. And why apples and not because the apples? apples, it's in general. Exactly. The, the name of the of the fruit, no? For this class, you were here. No, when yes. we saw rule number one. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You are talking about plural or things in general, you need to remove the article, even though in Spanish we use it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good job. Number 12, Isaac. Yeah. Uh, number 12, uh, what is Britain? Britain? Pronunciation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. Britain. Britain. Exactly. Britain. Britain. That's correct. Okay. In Britain, uh, oh, which one? Oh, sorry. In Britain, the in Britain wine is more expensive than beer. In Britain, wine is more expensive than beer. Why? Because I, I think that we are talking about all wine and no beer, so not one specific uh, house here. That? Uh -huh. Brother, this time it's yes specific because it's the beer in Britain. Mm -hmm. In comparison to beer in Mexico, for example, or the beer in Mexico. Yeah. Yes, I get it. You see, that one is very, very tricky too. Yeah. Very, very tricky. The wine yeah. and the beer, both of them. Got it? That one is very interesting because exactly, it, one thing is to think about things in general, but what happens if we mention in general in a specific place? Oh, it becomes, yes. it becomes, uh -huh. But for example, prices can change in different places, but I don't know, the calories? No, eliminate the calories. <laughs> uh -huh. It's so tricky. Calories don't, uh, don't change. Yeah. So that will be beer is a high uh, source of calories. Yes. In that case, is correct. That one is very, very tricky. <laughs> okay, good job. Okay, um, let's go. We had a very nice meal in that restaurant. The wine was good too. <laughs> exactly. And why is the wine? What? Why is the wine? Because what you said before. <laughs> Yeah, and what did I say? <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh, um, um, no. Come on, I just said it. Come on, come on. Yes, I think that. Well, no, I will let Silvana. Exactly, exactly. Don't cover her. Don't cover her. She, she, she must do it. You can, you can, you can. Um, 
because um, before that, um, we are talking about a specific place. Mm -hmm. So it's a specific thing because it's on a specific place. <laughs> exactly. In this case, what is a specific place? That restaurant. That restaurant, exactly. Because we're talking about a particular restaurant, we need to specify what wine was good. Yes. You see, very, very nice. There was another explanation. We are talking in past. We have a very nice meal. When you are talking in past, you are talking about a specific point in the past, which is a specific dinner with a specific bottle of beer. Okay. You see, the, the logic of the structures can also apply in this case. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take a note. Good job. Number 14, Alex. They got married, but the marriage, the marriage, marriage. Pronunciation question, right? <laughs> yes, please. Okay, Marriott. let's go. How do you pronounce this? Marriage. Mm -hmm. Mar 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 ah, this Mar is only one symbol, not two. Marriage. Exactly. Uh -huh. And this Mar symbol over here is open, 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 open. Nah. Marriage. Exactly. Marriage. Marriage. Okay. Action. Mm -mm -mm. They got married, but the marriage wasn't wasn't so successful. Good job. In this case, is the marriage. Do you know why? Because we talk about the their marriage. Mm -hmm. Their marriage for the specific people. Yes. Good job. Excellent. Number 15, go Isaac. I know someone who wrote a book about their life. Yes. And I think that we need the article because we are talking about uh, the life of a specific person. Totally right. Yes. Because you're talking the life of the of a specific person. If you talk about life in general, you need to omit it. Yeah. Good job. Number 20, no, number 16. 16. Silvana. Um, modern life will be very difficult without um, electricity. Yes, of course. And why is that? Why do we need to remove the van? Because we are talking about a general thing. We're talking about a general thing, exactly. Modern life in general, electricity in general. Good job. If you say modern life in Mexico, ooh, then it changes. Yeah, that was what I was talking, <laughs> thinking. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, that happens, very good. <laughs> Number 17, Alex. Sorry, teacher, in the last uh, ex uh, example, mm -hmm. you say modern life in Mexico, and then the, the first, uh, but modern life uh, needed, needs uh, the article? If you say modern life in Mexico? Yes, no, yes, yes, uh-huh. In the first case would be unnecessary, but in the second, yes, is in uh, modern life in Mexico would be very difficult without the electricity. Mm -hmm. Especially if you are going to add something like, because if you're talking about Mexico, then it's a particular problem of Mexico. Mm -hmm. So you would say the electricity that the the national company provides, you know, mm -hmm. they, they will expand the idea and it will be necessary to use that. Okay. You see, as, as long as you're talking in general, we need to, to avoid using that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, okay. The, the, um, 
Let me check. Uh, the hockey, hockey is my favorite sport. Okay, so, uh, hockey is my favorite sport, but I also like swimming. Yes. Do you know why? Because we're talking uh, in general. No? Exactly. It's hockey in general. Hockey and swimming. Sports are about talking about things in general. If you speak about, I prefer, I prefer the, the European soccer rather than the Mexican soccer, then it's necessary to use that because you're talking about specific ones, nationalities. Okay, if I say I prefer hockey than hockey over grass or it's in general the same general, even though yeah. it's like the the type of hockey doesn't affect the the rule okay uh -huh. that's the one it's clear Thanks. number 18 isaac yeah. do you know the people who live next door Correct. I, I lost you. I lost you. Because what? Uh, because we are talking a specific uh, people. Yes, exactly. A specific people who live next door. Mm -hmm. Good job. Perfect. Um, Sylvie, number 19. Um... <laughs> Are you interested in art or in architecture? Good job. Good, good job. Why art? Why architecture? Uh, the same because we are talking about uh, general general things. Totally. If we were, if the sentence um, said something like um, in art, in i don't know an architect or uh -huh. uh, maybe um i know the i don't remember the name of uh -huh, someone. Uh -huh. yeah that could be different perfect 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 and the last one alex don't say in that hotel um the beds are very uncomfortable. No, just sorry. The beds are very uncomfortable. You are totally correct. Yes. Finished. Why the beds and not beds? Because we talk about the the beds of the specific hotel. We talk about every day. We talk. Talk every day. If you speak in present, he's every day. We talked. We talked yesterday when that doesn't make sense. It's happening in this moment. What is the auxiliary the structure for in this moment? We have talk. In this moment? We are talking. Exactly. We are talking. Yes, sir. Complete? Because we are talking in this case of a specific bottle perfect and let's check the pronunciation of this word hotel hotel what is this sound oh oh hotel and what is the stress oh in the oh mm -hmm. The apostrophe indicates the second syllable. The, okay. ap the, the, the syllable next to the apostrophe okay. indicates it's strong. Hotel. Hotel. Oh, hotel. Exactly. Hotel. Hotel. Okay. That's right. So again. Hotel. Don't say in that hotel. The beds are very uncomfortable. Perfect. There you okay. have it. Good, good job. So pronunciation 
is corrected and now we have all the rules properly set right this topic is a little bit tricky but if you are talking you're, you're really really wanting to to improve the way you speak and thinking in english etc this is the best way to approach it okay like the exceptions the differences between one language and another and that's it so whenever you make a speech take care of that okay so let's go in this moment with uh, Jesse. Jesse will help us Thank with you. the action. Yes, good night. Good night, everyone. So, is your mic? Absent. Um, Rafael? Rafael, absent. Silvana? I'm here, Jesse. Hi, Silvana. Thank you. Isaac? Hello, here. Hi, Isaac. Thank you. Alex? Here. Good night, Jesse. Hi, Alex. Thank you. So, that's all. Thank you, everyone. Thank Have you a very good much. night. You too, girl. See you. Bye bye. All right. Is there any question on the topic? No, teacher. Good job. Very, very good. So then let's finish our conversation practice talking about stuff and rules that we need to do when we are talking about um, when we are talking about the driving lessons or the driving uh, driving rules that we need to obey when we are driving in Mexico City. Uh, who knows or who doesn't drive? Who doesn't know what are the rules for driving? Me. Okay. Have you ever spoken about or have you ever tried like bicycle? <laughs> You know me. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, a, that's an excellent. Yes, why did I ask you that? You know me. Oh my God. No, not a lot of people can tell me that. That is so true. So then <laughs> let's. So. Other um, rules, other rules, other rules. Okay. I know. Alex, you are going to talk about the rules of driving in Mexico City. Isaac, you are going to talk about the the process a person must do to get their visa. Yeah, you are familiar with that with that uh, topic, aren't you? No, not much. Well, I mean, I already transact mine. But yeah, well, yes, I think that I can. Yes, you can do it. I mean, yes, you do I have a visa, really? Yes, I, because it, it's something required for training. <laughs> wow, that's super cool. Wow. Yes. I, I, have, I have never used it, but I have it. <laughs> I hope you can use it soon, because that's one of my dreams, you know? So, <laughs> like, do it while I do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and Silvana, you're going to talk about the rules of what you cannot do in cinemas. Stuff that you cannot do when you go to the cinema. Are you ready? So the idea will be like this. If you hear this sound, yeah, you are going to give you a correction. Okay. And you will need to correct it and continue. So don't lose the idea. Number one, Alex, what are the rules, the basic rules of driving in Mexico City? Um, uh, I, I think the, the first uh, thing that you must do in when you uh, get up, uh, no, 
When you get up, no. How can I say when you in or in my story? When you are you talking about a car? Take your car or ah, okay, okay, okay. That the connector that we that, that's actually a chunk, eh? If you are talking about cars, we use the mm -hmm. preposition on because there is a, a, a phrasal verb precisely that goes mm -hmm. get on. Okay. To have a friendly relationship. No, it's not get. Can you hop on? Hop on, but it's not hop because hop is, is advanced. But it's another form. No, wait, 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 wait. When you get on the bus, get on the car, get on a wait for tra um, transportation. By car, by bus. Ways to travel by specific transport in when we are talking about specific transport vehicles. However, we need to switch to either in or on. Okay, so if you're talking about a car, you can mm -hmm. use these two, either in or on. Okay. And get in is correct to say uh -huh. exactly. service? Yes, it is. Get in. And get on, it's the same or? Get on a car? No, the connector. Well, it's the same, but it's more common to say in. Okay. When you are talking about public transport, for example, the metro, you need to say on. Okay. That's a very particular application. Okay. Okay. The, the, okay. The first thing that you do when you get in your car is to check the the mirrors mm -hmm. and adjust the 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 seat belt. Good. No safe belt. The safe first belt. position was better. It will transition to the, the word the, the thing that you that where you sit down is a seat okay and the thing that you belt mm -hmm. put on your pants is a belt okay so together and seat belt complete okay adjust your seat belt uh, because if in a corner uh uh the police transit police mm, transit See you. police transit officer not police transit officer uh, they will uh, bite you good okay <laughs> bite if, you. The, if the transit officer continue if the, if the transit officer see you in in, no, see you. Are you talking in present or in past? In an hypothetic uh, situation. Uh, that's not hypothetic because this is real life. It's hypothetic when you say would. Okay. But in real life, this happens all the time. Okay, because if the transit officer. So, so you went so, yesterday. No, so no. Are you saying so, so yesterday or so when? If you're talking past, you are talking no, about. No, it's a uh, present. It's present. No, it's a routine. Okay. It's every yes. time it happens. See, cease. Cease. Exactly. 
Okay, sorry. Uh -huh. And okay, transit okay. officer sees in in a, in the corner without the seat belt. Sees who? Sees you? Sees you, exactly. One more time. If? If, if the transit officer sees you mm -hmm. in the corner mm -hmm. uh, without the seat belt, uh, mm -hmm. he will bite you. He will bite you, yes. Which can be a <laughs> metaphoric way. And that's that comes the the part of the what bite you is very very Mexican Spanish. Yes. We don't use that in English. No, he. Come on, let's Okay, in your vocabulary. Yes. When you get. The thing that we are talking about is not the verb, right? Eh? Okay. The thing is a fine. Fine. Fine as an like a noun, no? It's a noun, exactly. Very good. C1. Fine. Okay. A sum of money that must fine in English is the same that uh infraction. I don't speak Spanish, brother. No, 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 just for. Read the, for read no. the, the definition and okay. tell me if it's not much money. It must be paid as punishment. Okay, yes. Right? Which yeah. is, which it matches. Okay. Uh, because if a transit officer sees you in the corner without the seat belt, mm -hmm. no, without seat belt. No, sorry, without the seat belt, because it's my seat belt. No? Without the seat belt or without seat belt? It's it's mine. Not me. Because I say you sees you. But anyway, it's a law, it's a rule. And it's every seat belt of every car. Okay. So you don't need that. Okay. Okay. Since you without seat belt, uh -huh. and he punish you with a fine. Mm, punish you with a fine. Punish. That's not the way we say it. It will be. What is the action with the fine? What it? What do they do? Give you a fine. What? They literally take a pen. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Writes you. No? Exactly. He writes you a ah, fine. Perfect. Make your conditional again. If you, if the, if a, tra if a transit officer sees you mm -hmm. without seat belt, he uh, writes you. Uh, fine. Good job. Excellent. Let's keep it over there. Very, very good. Very, very nice. I would say that the second part in the, in the, in the normal conditional, the first part is present and the second part is will, because the will is a consequence of what happened. Okay. Right. So the first, the first time you say it, you said will. The mm -hmm. second time you say it, you, you said he writes you. Mm -hmm. Fine, but that cannot happen if the first person is if the first condition is not done. That's the reason you cannot say that the that the officer writes you a fine. Okay, you know he will write exactly. So okay. I want you to 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 whenever you are talking or using verbs in present, you must take in, in 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 or have in mind that you are talking about a regular situation something that happens constantly mm -hmm. and automatically okay. you will start putting the s when it's necessary okay you see the police cannot act act if you don't do anything bad 
Therefore, you cannot speak in presence for the policy. Okay. You see, that's a, a very conversational application of this. Okay. Very good, Alex. Very, very good. Thank Jesus you. Christ, the class went flying. Okay, you have five minutes, Isaac, to tell me. Oh, no, it's process. not enough. It's not enough time. I think I think it's <laughs> enough. You are very smart. Let's go. <laughs> to the reaction. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> First, uh, well, the first step is to fill out a form called uh, DS. Uh, I don't remember. Well, you need to fill out fill out a form. Okay. Uh, you need to enter your personal information, like your name, your, your address, uh, the schools uh, uh, where you studied. Uh, also, the previous job that well, no, actually, the jobs that you have had and your current job if you have one. Um, I think that also you you are also required to enter the the how to say the, the information or your social how to say social network no, how to say redes sociales social networks you're right oh yes of your social networks no, no, social network. what should we write again Oh yes, you need to enter the the username of your social network, the, the username that you have in your social networks. The username and that you have in your social network. There is an easier way nickname, to say no? it. No, no, because sometimes it's not a nickname. The username is the, is the, the noun, the, the noun is correct, but it's too much information. It's the username that you have in your social networks. Or your, your, Social networks username? Much better. Yes. <laughs> much, much better. Your social networks. Social networks username. Username, yes. In this case, it's better to use this one because you are you are omitting the and yes. transforming the into your. That's yes. more effective than using the. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once you complete this form, uh, you can I how say schedule mm -hmm. the uh, an appointment to mm -hmm. to I don't remember because I think that the process is a little different for the, for the general population. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just arrange one appointment for the for the interview with the consular uh, how say well with the consular, uh, I don't remember, uh, staff, maybe. And, uh, okay. and, staff. But, but they also require to take your fingerprints and uh, and, and I think that, that's it. <laughs> but well, let's, let's talk about plural stuff. Why do applicants, yes. you know what is applicant? Yes. Why do applicants need to provide fingerprints? They are fingerprints. Their yeah, fingerprints. I don't know actually. I think that maybe if they do something bad in the US and they want to have a record of well, authorities want to have a record of the of the people that is entering to the country so they can track them, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure, but <laughs> I'm just okay. guessing. Yeah. Yes, you're right. I'm just I'm just listening to how you speak and trying to find a, a, a way. But <laughs> all, all the, the applications of the uh, exactly all yeah. the applications of the that you are saying are necessary. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> In this case, uh, um, uh, what else? What else? Uh, also, applicants also uh, needs to Whoa. to applicants. What? She needs it needs, but oh, need. applicants applicants need, need exactly. applicants need uh, need to pay a fee uh, before the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember how how much is it, but uh, they need they need to pay to uh, to arrange the the appointment. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have to well applicants. Uh, Sorry, are we speaking yeah. about a specific appointment? Uh, the appointment. So, oh, sorry, sorry, can you repeat? Are oh, we yes. speaking about that? Oh, specific yes, the, the specific appointment for the consular interview. Yes, but even though it's the same 
yeah, appointment for every, you know, it's not the same appointment for everybody because uh -huh. appointment is a day in the calendar. A day okay. is not the day. The, Change the article from the uh, to uh, a, an, an appointment. An appointment, exactly. Okay, yes. Schedule an uh, appointment. Yes, you need to schedule an appointment. And then um, I don't remember what, what, what I was saying. Um, That's it. Um, uh, and, and you need to go to the the appointment that you arrange and they will, well, the, the consular section will let you know if your visa uh, is approved or not. Okay. And they will send, that was a send it. <laughs> it, it, it uh, your your document and they keep your original document, your original passport, and they will send it to you through 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 I don't mail mail is it mail? Well, mm -hmm. I don't say how say correo by by mail. mail. Mm -hmm. Yes, through mail. Yes. Very good. Very yes, because they keep the, the the physical document, no? Yes. So that makes total total sense. Yes. Hey brother, <laughs> excellent job. Good good job. So yeah. as a as a as a bonus, Silvana, you are so free of this exercise, but I will practice for Monday, yeah, because you will this do this on Monday. I'm send an audio to the group. <laughs> <laughs> send an audio to the group. <laughs> There's no limits in this in this moment. Good job. All right, guys. I'll see you on Monday. Have a very good day. Okay, I need to go you. because have I have another day. class. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Sure. Thanks. See you later. See you. Bye bye.